Hi everyone, I'm Eloy from Knowledge Chaining Tech. In this video, I want to show you how you can connect two PCs to two monitors, one keyboard, one mouse, one USB device. This is here a webcam and one audio device and switch between the two PCs and get the display on two monitors. To be achieving this, I'll be using this DigitNow KVM switch. So I'm going to show you up close the KVM, how to connect it and how to operate it. So let me show you first what comes in the box. You have four HDMI cables that come with the KVM switch. You have two USB-A to USB-B cables. You have a power adapter, a remote control and the user manual. And of course, you have the KVM switch. On the back of the KVM switch, you have all the connections. So you have here the connections for PC1. So you have two HDMI inputs and one USB port input. And you have here the connections for PC2. Also, you have two HDMI inputs and one USB input. And these are the outputs here. So this here is USB output where you can put your webcam or your printer or any other USB device. These here are for the mouse and the keyboard. These are also USB outputs. And this is here the display 2 output, HDMI display 1 output. This is the power input and this is the audio output. On the front of the device, you have the on off button. You have the infrared receiver for the remote control. This is the switch button. And these are the LEDs indicating what PC is displaying on the monitors. Now to talk about the specifications of this KVM from DigitNow, the maximum output on the monitors it can provide is 4K at 60 Hz and it has an audio like analog output also as I showed you and it has three USB ports but unfortunately the USB ports are only USB 2.0 so you cannot connect like a data hungry device to these ports like for instance a 4k capture card or like an external ssd drive because it will operate below its capacity so let me show you now how to connect everything to this kvm switch so i'm gonna show you how to connect pc1 and of course pc2 will connect exactly like pc1 and then i'm gonna be connecting the outputs so for pc1 you have two hdmi cables you need to connect one in each port and then you need to connect the USB-B connector here. So for me, PC1 will be the laptop. It has one HDMI output and it has a VGA output. So for the VGA output to be able to be connected to an HDMI cable, I got this converter. I'm going to leave a link in the description, of course, for the KVM switch and for this converter also. So this is the HDMI goes into the converter here. And the other HDMI cable will go into the HDMI output of the laptop and the USB cable will go in any USB port of the laptop. So this is the laptop connected. I'm gonna now connect my desktop the same way. So now both PCs are connected. I'm gonna connect the outputs. So this is the audio output. This is my webcam, my keyboard, my mouse. And these are the two HDMI cables of the monitors. And the power adapter, I'm gonna plug it at the end. Now everything is connected. I'm gonna show you how to operate the KVM switch using the switch here, the remote control and the keyboard shortcuts. So first, let me show you how to do it with the KVM switch. So if you wanna switch to PC2, just press here on the SW button and it should switch. It is a little bit slow, I found, to my taste, but this is not a big deal. I mean, it works. So now if you want to use the remote, of course, we have PC1 and PC2. You just press PC1 and PC2 and it will switch. So now I'm going to show you how to switch with the keyboard. The KVM switch comes pre-programmed to use the scroll lock key. So if you double tap the scroll lock key and then one or two, you're going to switch. So let me show it to you. So now I'm going to switch to two. So now it is switching. And if you want to change the scroll lock in case it is not available on your keyboard or in case like it is taken by another function, this is how you do it. So press and hold the switch button until it beeps around 10 seconds. So when the KVM beeps, turn it off, turn it on again. And now the scroll lock key is replaced with the right control key. So double tap the right control key and let's go to two. And this is how you switch. 
I want also to show you a little bit of advanced switching. So you may want to display maybe PC1 on monitor 1 and PC2 on monitor 2. And this is something you can do with the keyboard. So let's double tap the control key. And then if you press on 3, and this is PC1 displaying on monitor 1. So if you also double tap the control key and press on 4, it will inverse. So now at the end, let me tell you what I like and what I don't like in this digit now KVM switch dual monitor dual PCs. I like the fact that it is well built and it is made like of metal here of aluminum, which is very good. So it helps in the heat dissipation. Also, I like the fact that it is not too expensive. And also, I like the fact that it comes with a remote control and the remote control has a battery included in it. Now, what I don't like about it is that it's a little bit slow whenever I switch from one PC to the other and the USB ports are only 2.0. By the way, if you want to check out this KVM switch from Digit Now, I'm going to leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage at no cost to you. And this will help my channel greatly. I want to thank you all for watching and I hope that my video will help you in setting up two monitors and two PCs using a KVM switch. In case you like my video, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. Thank you once again and see you in the next video.